Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you how I made these beautiful Winnie the Pooh inspired treats for my nephew's birthday. It's going to be a two part video and in this video I will show you how I made the cakesicles and the cake pops and on the second video I will show you how I made the strawberries, the pretzels and how I decorated the cupcakes. For the cakesicles we're going to start off by removing the plastic that comes on the popsicle sticks. For these treats, I'll be using almond bark. I colored my chocolate blue using Color Mills oil-based food coloring. Make sure to cover the sides very well. Right now I'm using a spoon, you can also use a brush, but just make sure that the edges are not fragile. Right here, I'm just giving it a second coat. I think I might have added a little bit too much chocolate for my liking, but it, they still turned out very good. Once again, cover those edges. Since I want to use the gold side, I'm using the gold facing down. Right here, my chocolate is still semi-wet, and then I'm adding my popsicle sticks. I forgot to record me adding the cake pop dough, but this is what it looked like. And just make sure that your chocolate was hardened before you add your cake pop dough in there. And then I cover it with more chocolate. Now I'm just taking them out. And as you guys can see, some of the edges are not covered completely. And that's why I'm telling you guys to make sure to cover the edges very well. Clean your edges with a knife for a clean look. Now I'm adding my honey, my yellow chocolate, using a Ziploc bag. And I'm not going to lie, you guys, this was harder than I thought. Just make sure that your cakesicle is standing straight when you add your drips so they don't go sideways, but this is how they turned out. Now I'm gonna show you how I made the cake pop barrels. Right here I'm squeezing my cake pop dough, just removing any air bubbles and playing with it for a little bit to soften it up because they were in the fridge. I like working with cold cake pops because they hold their shape better. Never freeze your cake pop balls right before dipping or keep them in the fridge for too too long because your chocolate can crack. For my cake pop dough, I'm just using a Duncan Hines vanilla uh, cake box mix and I'm just substituting water for milk and vegetable oil for butter. I didn't add any frosting to my cake pop dough because I mixed it for 5 to 10 minutes while it was still hot. So it gave me a perfect cake pop dough consistency. And right here I'm just shaping the barrel. Use your fingers to sharpen the edges and keep playing with it until you get that barrel shape. I'm using some cake pop dough for the top of the barrel. You can also use fondant. After I shape the coil, I add my cake pop stick using some chocolate. Then we secure the coil using some more chocolate. And I'm not even sure if it's called the coil, but that's what I'm calling it. This is what our cake pop looks like before dipping. And now we dip into some almond bark. If you guys would like a tutorial on how I melted this chocolate, let me know and I can make a more detailed video. Now I'm just removing the excess chocolate by tapping. This 
this is what it looks like it's not perfect but it's still very pretty I just want to take a moment to say thank you so much for being here for being a part of my community a little community I'm growing and I appreciate you being here watching these tutorials and just know that I love doing this and learning with you guys pop any air bubbles using a toothpick I love using these silicone mats from Amazon for all my chocolate treats because they never stick now I'm adding my drips again using a Ziploc bag and just go all around and play with it it doesn't have to be perfect It'll still look very cute. Now I'm just adding a small piece of fondant with the word honey on it. The details, you guys, really do make a difference. That is all for today's video. Stick around for part two and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.